Hello guys, hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to learn about the installation of MySQL within Docker container. So guys, it's uh, very easy to learn. Uh, there are only four steps to uh, deploy MySQL database inside Docker container. First of all, you need to uh, pull the uh, MySQL server uh, Docker image. Pull this image. We need to execute this command, and uh, I am also going to uh, add those commands in the description of this video. So you can uh, just copy paste the commands from description. So let's pull the MySQL uh, image from Docker.io. Uh, it will take uh, some time. I already have uh, image in my local repository so that's why uh, it's uh, already uh, pulled so let's uh, ls the images uh, as you can see the image is uh, already in my uh, repository so next step we need to uh, create uh, uh, the volumes uh, to mount uh, inside the docker container so first of all create uh, uh, the parent directory in this directory your docker container will uh, uh, write the mysql database files uh, go to this directory and uh, now create uh, uh, conf.d directory for the configurations of mysql now create mysql data uh, all the uh, files of mysql database uh, that uh, normally uh, placed in warlib mysql will be placed in mysql dash data directory guys after uh, creation of those directories uh, you need to uh, uh, assign the triple seven permissions to this directory so your docker container uh, will have permissions to write on this path so let's execute this command it's now with the triple seven permissions now uh, let's come toward a final command for the uh, startup of uh, mysql uh, docker container it's very simple we are going to use docker run minus d attach switch will uh, run the container in background and uh, minus name switch uh, we are going to uh, name this container as mysql then we are going to pass environment variable of mysql root password so you need to define a mysql root password here uh, i am going to set my uh, mysql root password as a secure password then we are going to define the port uh, it will be the port of your machine and it's the port of docker container we are going to map uh, default port of docker container to our machine's port then we are going to mount the volumes we are going to mount the uh, mysql configuration directory on this path of our machine and mysql data directory on this path of our machine uh, and uh, last is the mysql image uh, it will be uh, like uh, this so image will be like this so let's uh, uh, create this command it must be in single line
so guys the command is ready now let's execute this command the container has been started uh, let's uh, check for docker processes as uh, you can see my sql server is uh, uh, started uh, six seconds ago and it's mapped mapped to our uh, local port double three double zero six now let's tell net the port so it's listening now uh, let's uh, look for the files go to slash root docker folder here we can uh, create a directory for my sql container uh, go to uh, go to my sql data as you can see the configurations uh, and uh, data files uh, have been created here by docker container so now you can uh, just uh, uh, list for docker container ls you will see the uh, mysql server running with the name mysql if you need to stop this container you need to execute uh, this command docker stop mysql it will be stopped now again ls for containers there is no container running now you can uh, start just using this command docker start mysql so if you want to uh, see the logs uh, just uh, execute this command uh, docker will show you the logs you can see the version the inodb initialization has been started and it's uh, ready for connections now guys uh, let's connect uh, uh, to this mysql database container guys let's connect to the mysql using uh, docker command docker execute minus it uh, uh, write the container name mysql now write the mysql minus user root minus p command uh, it's uh, the mysql command and uh, it's the container name and it's the execution with switches now enter the password you configured at the time of uh, container startup. So the uh, MySQL has been connected successfully. So it's up and down. So guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. Kindly uh, like the video and uh, share your feedback on the comments section and uh, kindly don't forget to uh, subscribe this channel for uh, further related content take care goodbye